You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Round one. Oh, quick to the knee to the body. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. Oh, high amplitude head kick! That knee, that knee hurt him. Just a gasp. I mean, he is throwing those kicks. It's evil and kill. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. These guys throwing early. And landed some nasty strikes. That one landed clean. Oh, uppercut. Oh, these are some impactful knees he's throwing, and I guess until his opponent adjusts, might as well keep throwing them. He's gonna keep going to the well. Why would he change it? His opponent has not been able to figure out these knees. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big knee to the body. Two shots there. Just out of range with that left hook. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start that up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not... Oh! Oh, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get him out of there. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent is still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. from his cheeks. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he... Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense. Keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Oh, he's got the choke. He's got the choke. It's over. It's over. Trying to leverage those hips to escape, and he does. That was beautiful. All he did brought his hands to the hips. Got him up to release some of that guillotine pressure, and it pulled him back in to control his posture. What a fight so far. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward.